an immense amount of pain was being caused by this poor cow's foot, and this was the reason why. Today we are taking a look back and seeing how she is now. So this is cow 341, as she was around two weeks ago now. As you can see, she could barely bring herself to even touch the ground. So we got her into our trusty KVK crush, lifted her foot into the air, and hoped that whatever the problem was, was nice and obvious. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. Her feet looked pretty much perfect. So we used these hoof testers to exert pressure so we could discover and understand where the problem was. As we closed the hoof nippers around this outside claw, she reacted, letting us know where the problem was. But when we got our grinder out, it still, definitely, was anything but obvious. My suspicions lay with the small black dot you can see in the yellow portion of her toe, right at the tip of my knife there. But it wasn't just that simple. I tried removing slithers of hoof horn with this razor sharp knife, and tried and tried and tried, but to no avail. Eventually though, we did make some hayway, and this was the result. An abscess hidden deep underneath the outer layers of our hoof horn, causing pressure and therefore causing the pain that was so evident earlier on. Using Hoof Grip Pro, we glued on a block to take the weight away from that outer claw, but there was still a lot of hoof horn to remove, and it wasn't exactly easy. Hoof horn is tough stuff, but we needed to put in as much effort as needed to remove all of the overburdening hoof horn from the cavity beneath. Once we'd finished, it was raw and wide open. We doused the whole area with iodine and used this magical paste to try to dry out that area and set her on the road to recovery. This was the difference we'd made. In just a short amount of time, we'd made a huge effort towards making her pain free, but from these images here, we can all clearly see that she was still very clearly in pain. So, fast forward two weeks and we are back. The sun is shining and here she is coming up the race, eager to get into our crush so that we can have a look at the fruits of our labor. Her biodegradable bandage is still in place and as you can see here, it's nice and loose and beginning to break apart. Her block is lifting this outer claw, the affected one, up off the ground, still providing that much needed pain relief. Now that we've got our foot firmly in the air, it's time for us to cut away this bandage. And you can see me here pulling it apart. We love the idea of biodegradable bandages because just look at them breaking apart after only a couple of weeks. Although to be honest, they don't smell that good. Right, now that that's done, let's give her a quick wash so that we can see exactly how her foot has or hasn't progressed. And if we just pause that there for a second, here's a quick public service announcement. And they're coming, they're coming, they're coming! Four weeks ago, thousands and thousands of you guys pre-ordered this shirt and this is the only one in existence. It's taken weeks to get it absolutely perfect and this is the final sample. So in 10 days time, I will get all of the merch you guys pre-ordered four weeks ago and it'll all wing its way to you right across the world. Um, if you weren't lucky enough to get that because they were only released for a day, maybe two days, if you didn't get one but you want some HoofGP merch, you can't get this right now, but you can head over to thehoofgp.com, type in Easter 15, and for the next two days, you'll get 15% off any order. It doesn't matter how small, how big, how middle. It, it doesn't matter how big the order is. Type in Easter with a capital E, 15, like the number, and you'll get 15% off. To the rest of you guys who did manage to get one of these awesome t-shirts, look forward to getting it through the post in just over 10 days time. So obviously I need to clean all of this off. This is the paste that we applied last time we were here. And here is the problem sticking right out of our foot. I'm just gonna gently remove all of this to see what is happening. This is granulating tissue, so this is really good to see that it's all starting to repair. And that's actually in layers though, so I'm just going to take that top little layer off. So 
It's going to be really interesting to see how this cow is walking afterwards. So it's been two weeks since we've seen it, and she has made a fair amount of improvement, but clearly this is still a real issue. So if we push this out of the way, we can actually see that there is still a, oh, there's still a bit of infection in there. You can actually see that this part of the hoof horn here is insulting this corium. So this is granulated corium, which is why it's not pink anymore. Beginning to die. That is actually a really good sign. Right, I'm gonna try and push it out of the way of the back of my knife. And just ease down that inside axial wall. Not that there's an outside axial wall. I really need to debride, as they say, by getting this hard edged. Oh, stop, you don't like this. Getting this hard edged hoof horn away from the corium because obviously every time she steps, it insults it a little bit more and stops it from completely healing. Chuck, chuck that wash, will you, please, Kenny? Thank you. Can rub it gently, just to kind of massage and get all of that stuff off so we can see it more clearly. You can see this block is actually still in fantastic shape. It's almost full height, so we're not gonna change that. And Hoof Grip Pro, as always, is doing a good job of keeping it in place. There's no chance of this falling off. There's a little bit of hoof on there I need to remove. You can actually see it behind my fingernail. Still just that little bit more to get from here. Just try and tease that soft tissue out of the way. Okay. Well that's better. Using the hook of a knife is getting in because there's obviously a back to the hook of a knife so I can protect that soft tissue but get the rest of it out of the way. So far so good. What we've managed to achieve in just under two weeks is fantastic and I'm really, really happy with it. Lovely. No matter how good a result first seems, hoof trimmers like me are always holding our breaths so as not to tempt fate. I'm struggling for words but I'm really happy with that. As happy as I am with the results of this trim, you can never count your chickens too soon. Well, you can see this is actually tracking up a little bit, look. I didn't think it was going to, but it obviously is. Luckily for me though, in this instance, I'm able to let go of my breath, because this crack turns out to be nothing untoward. Despite a good result, this cow's foot definitely hasn't healed fully yet, so we rewrap it and take a look back at how she was two weeks ago. We didn't know exactly what was wrong, but the symptoms were obvious for every single one of us. Fast forward two weeks to today, and this is how she's walking now. Confidently, almost pain-free, and with a much brighter future than she had just a couple of weeks ago. Thanks for watching the Hoof GP folks. Make sure you've subscribed if you haven't already.